With the first half of the seasons done and dusted, we're going to take a look at the Arrowverse shows and how they're all shaping up at this stage. So I've also enjoyed The Flash this season, for the first half anyway. I've loved the way they've set up DeVoe and I found him to be a really interesting character. The problem I have is what they've done at their mid-season break. So they've set up that Barry has been framed for the murder of DeVoe and that DeVoe has managed to switch bodies. I get it, it makes sense. His body was failing him, he needs a better body, so why not go for the youngest, more attractive kind of looking guy, you know, the best of the bunch. But it also reeks of CW just trying to put another good looking face on their shows, which they have so many of. The actor who played this character played him so well, and it really worked in the first half of the season. So to think that we're not going to have him, this new actor who's now playing the role of DeVoe needs to make it work, and he needs to be just as good to carry the rest of the season through, and so it'll be interesting to see if he's capable of that. The other big point that we end the mid-season break on is Barry is now in prison for the murder of DeVoe. This is obviously not going to be something that lasts very long, we'll work it out as soon as we come back and he'll be out and things will be normal again, but it could be interesting to see what kind of effect this has, if they do bother creating any kind of serious effects with it, obviously it has to, but again it's an interesting move by DeVoe who's been a good villain so far. After season after season of speedster villains, it's nice to have a character that is just more, you know, a battle of wits rather than just a battle of pure speed. A new character they've introduced for this season of Flash is Ralph Dibney, aka the Elongated Man, I believe his name is. I don't know how I feel about this character, he's he's okay and he brings some kind of comic relief, but this is a show filled with comic relief. So the, do we need another character like this? Do we need him on the team when we've already got Barry on the team, we've got Cisco and Caitlin who now have powers? Wally West who's getting really pushed out to the side like he has not been in this season whatsoever so do we need another character with powers on the team what is the point of this character going to be in the long run we don't know we'll see but I don't mind the character I just think you know does he need this place on this team was he a necessary element to bring into this season Thanks for watching the video guys, if you liked the video give it a big thumbs up, comment, share it around with your friends, subscribe and follow us at Alt Social on Twitter.